Hello there, Stoic lovers. We are pleased to have you back on our channel, where we discuss the ancient wisdom of Stoicism as well as its practical applications in our everyday lives. The video that we are going to show you today is a really special one, because we are going to go into the world of relationships and reveal the nine principles that Stoic philosophy recommends intelligent men should adhere to. You have arrived to the right place if you are prepared to create a mindset that is capable of withstanding the test of time in matters pertaining to the heart. It is important that you click the subscribe button before we proceed with the discussion of these important principles. In the event that you are enthusiastic about utilizing the power of stoicism in your relationships, click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Through the prism of stoic wisdom, let us now go on this adventure together as we reveal the nine things that intelligent men should not do with women. The first is to protect your history by disclosing every aspect of your past, particularly the difficult times. Parts is comparable to revealing every mystery and difficulty that you have encountered up to this point. Ed Nicola's observation that we might be confronted with old concepts that we have forgotten about brings to light the possible dangers of divulging too much information. Make sure that your history is kept private and secure. Only share what is absolutely required. Keep the most important aspects of your tale that have helped you become resilient. It is not for other people to take advantage of or judge the story of your life is solely yours. Aristotle's observation that the first step toward acquiring wisdom is to become familiar with oneself highlights the need of confronting the anxiety that comes with being alone oneself. Choices that are made out of fear, particularly the dread of being alone, have the potential to lead you astray. Just because you are alone yourself does not mean that you are lonely. Invest some time in coming to appreciate your own company. If you do decide to remain with someone, make sure that it is because they bring something positive into your life and not because you are afraid of being without them. 3. Always make the most of your time. This observation made by Seneca, which states that it is not that our lives are short but rather that we waste an excessive amount of it, rings true. By concentrating too much on another person, you are wasting your time and wasting your time away. Take control of your time, because it is yours to begin with, and not theirs. Establish a balance and make the most of your time by devoting it to activities that bring you joy. Encourage your own personal development and fulfill your soul. Your time is a valuable resource, therefore, you should avoid wasting it on someone who might not recognize the significance of your time. A quartet honor your accomplishments and goals. The teachings of Epicus suggest that we should not only seek adoration from other people, but we should also admire ourselves. This serves as a gentle reminder to rejoice in our accomplishments. Do not let yourself become so preoccupied with pleasing other people that you fail to acknowledge your own achievements. Every advance, regardless of how insignificant it may seem, is a success and should be celebrated. Constructing one's self-confidence via means of in order to live a life that is rewarding, it is necessary to acknowledge your progress, protect your mental health at all costs. For the sake of another person, causing harm to your mental health is analogous to setting fire to your home in order to keep them warm. It is not only dangerous but also illogical. Always remember that your mental well-being and happiness should never be sacrificed for the sake of other people. Regain control. Be a ferocious protector of your tranquility and work on strengthening your mental toughness. Your happiness should not be taken away by anyone. You have complete control over your own thoughts. Be honest with yourself. Your happiness is not a commodity that can be bought and sold. It is an essential component of your overall well-being that cannot be compromised. The stoic concept of being loyal to oneself is a philosophy that resonates with the wisdom of Albert Chu, who advocated for not caring too much about other people. It is like putting on a suffocating mask in order to appease other people when you say yes to things that you do not like. Master the art of saying no and live your life in an honest manner. Be genuine and truthful with yourself rather than acting in a way that may impress other people. Always keep in mind that you are the primary protagonist in your own life, and not a supporting part in the story of another else. Put the needs of others ahead of your own. It was properly pointed out by Seneca that if you try to be in too many locations, you will discover that you are actually nowhere. In a similar vein, altering your life only for the sake of conforming to the lifestyle of another person is analogous to wearing shoes that are too tight. It is both uncomfortable and pointless. With each step that you take to adapt to the expectations of others, you are moving more and further away from your own path, which causes you to lose sight of your objectives. Embrace your individuality and take pride in the colors that you have chosen. Your journey should not be sacrificed for the sake of another person's. Follow your own path. You should strive to live your life with self-assurance so that it is a genuine reflection of your goals and objectives. 
putting relationships with friends and family first is a priority for eight. In Plato's comparison, individuals are like soil they can either help you grow or hinder your growth. This analogy highlights the significance of keeping connections with friends and family members. The decision to push people away in order to gain approval from another person is a mistaken one. It is important to maintain relationships with the people who have always been there for you. Your family and friends are the foundation of your support system. Do not take the chance of destroying the value of this support network. It is important to avoid becoming overly devoted to those who have played a significant role in your development. It was Marcus Aurelius who cautioned against becoming unduly fascinated with another person because it throws off your equilibrium and causes you to lose sight of your own value. If you fixate too much on another person, it will cause your dreams and your uniqueness to fade away, just like a satellite that keeps going around in circles forever. You need to reclaim power, stop being a shadow that lives by their rules, and start shining like your own light. Remember that your life is not a supporting character in the narrative of another person. You, yourself, are the protagonist of your own story. Do not allow someone to get dim. Your radiance, we are grateful that you have chosen to accompany us on this excursion into the world of Stoicism, which blends wisdom with connections. It is important to keep in mind that adopting Stoic principles does not involve adhering to gender-specific restrictions, rather. It involves fostering a mindset that is not limited by the difficulties we encounter in all aspects of life. Through the prism of Stoicism, we have examined nine behaviors that intelligent men should avoid engaging in with women. We hope that you have gained vital insights on how to manage relationships with awareness and virtue by implementing these timeless principles. My wish is that you are able to cultivate relationships that are founded on mutual respect, understanding and growth. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you found this wisdom of stoicism and relationships to be enjoyable. You will be able to access other content that will improve your intellect and nurture your spirit. On the other hand, until we meet again, please do not hesitate to share your ideas and inquiries in the comments section below. You should continue your quest toward a life that is purposeful and serene, and you should maintain your wisdom and stoicism.